Invitational Racing Pigeon Race Series experience. Happy Monday. Take it away, Ryan. Lee, I got a surprise for everyone. Maybe it should be at the end of the show. Maybe it should be at the beginning of the show. This is the spongiest chihuahua in history. <laughs> is this our surprise? Scouty, say hi to the audience. She wants to be the mascot of the Blue Devils. As you see, she likes to loaf. She likes rabbit's feet, chicken's feet. She's spongy and she loves love. She almost looks Place. like a husky, <laughs> a, a mini husky. Listen, when you push here, she is not our surprise. You're going to have to tune in for the end of the show. We just wanted to show you how much we love our little spongy chihuahuas. And on our, at Christmas time, like Lot Manager Richard says, magically it comes here. What does it say, Leah, here? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Christmas is her favorite time of the year. We hope you guys enjoy our show. She likes the uh, the bands, the bling, the Mr. T jewelry. Thank you. As we say, we're always watching. There you go, Scouty. What, so, are, we what are we doing today? What are we doing today, Ryan? Well, the old, uh, the old wizard there, the, my stick. She went on the fritz. I don't know. I think she's ill. She's not feeling good. So it's going to be a bit of a bumpy ride. But if you tune in at the end of this show today, my head's itchy. I think I got fleas or lice or something. We're going to show you the big surprise that we have in store for you. But yeah, my itchiness, Leah, whenever people say lice, mites, bugs, don't you feel itchy and gross? I sure do. And worms. We want to Worm. give a shout out to Owen Cleveley. Ricky Cruz is in the house. Dave Ottaway says, hey, y'all. Tracy's in the house. She says, howdy. She's getting her Texas on. What are we doing today? Red wings worming, feeding the yellow jackets and the blue devils. Yellow wings worming. So we're going to go through each participant on the whoa, red whoa, wings. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. If we go back and replay that, the yellow wings worming. Red wings warming. Red wings. Oh, warming. sorry. Yeah. The red, red wings, wings warming. That's a mouthful. Red wings warming. We're going to go through each individual red wing participant. Ryan's going to show you how he worms them. You're going to get a chance to see them. Ask us any questions. Maddie is in the house from Australia. Hello. Nice to see you on, Maddie. Glenn Thornley. Hello. Tracy says maybe you got worms. Ryan might have worms. It's a possibility. Oh, Leah. Leah, I was wondering, because a good way to tell if you have worms is how hungry you are. And I'm always hungry. But there's another really good way. And I, you know, because you're my sister, correct? I am your sister. Right? You're, yes. And people say, well, is that your wife? Hell no. Yeah, no. no. This is no, my no, sister. no, no, no. Yeah. So, <laughs> and, and, and family, family helps family, right? Right. Right, right. So I have a really big appetite because you know I can eat like a uh, like a water buffalo. I really can drive that food in, and I've been eating and eating. I think I have worms. I'd like you to be able to just go through my droppings and check for me. <laughs> Why don't you put it in a baggie and maybe when Tracy comes, I there's a nurse. Is there not a nurse uh, that flies in the GTA? There's a pigeon nurse, yeah. Oh, we got Ricky Fife's wife. Oh, what's there her you name? Go. Uh, come on, what's her name? Uh, no, Jean. No. Jean. I could, uh, Leah. Well, would you hold the bag for me, and I could just just drop her in? Yeah. Just... Mo moving right along. Let's go. This is going to be a long show. Hello, Rodrigo. Right, let's get... We got two cameras running right now, Leah. So you can put them both on. I'll have. Two cameras going. I got one in the section and one going to the floor here are the yellow jackets. I'm going to call them in right now. Okay. Is that good? Yep, that's good. Hey, kids, you ready to go here or what? We had a busy morning here at Pioneerville. We had Mikey's Loft and Mick Ennis Loft come by today just to say hi. The magic ringtone it's scouty's favorite if anyone knows what that ringtone's from 
let me know. Leah, I know you know the answer, but let's see if our newbies know what song that is. I wonder if Owen knows. No way, Owen. he won't know that. Do you know what that whistle's from? You're dating your you're dating us, Ryan. Listen, I'm not dating anybody, eh? Leah, we know that you're getting ready for your sixty first birthday. It's just around the corner. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like it a lot. I'm gonna move into the Club Med Blue Devils. They're gonna put on a demonstration for us this morning. They're gonna show us things that only Blue Devils know. Look at that. We got a pioneer cock from last year. Look at them. Let me in. I want to start winning some cash. Here he is. Moving right along. We got some new birds to check in. We're going to check them in on the evening show tonight. Just because there's a lot of parts moving here today. So let me get the Blue Devils camera in. Pimmy, Guidi, this one's for you. And while everyone's eating and carrying on, I'm going to make the waters up here. You're seeing them drive the breakfast in to them. Uh, I am not going to feed this morning. Oh, morning or sort of afternoon here. I'm not going to feed our beloved Red Wings this morning. Just because I'm giving them a warming. I want them to get it into their system. I'm going to put a little warming in the water as well. When they go out, they're going to have their drink. And well, that, that on. means they're going to have the... Um advantage this evening because they're going to be hungry and they're going to come in faster but that's okay because the yellow jackets are going to get their warming tomorrow and then they're going to get their chance right it's just leah it's going to be a yeah that's right it's going to be a blurry do you know what a blurry is a blurry a blurry yeah <laughs> some some people would say flurry but here at pioneer <laughs> near village we say blurry <laughs> okay a lot of people oh. wonder how we do it. It's the HDRD. I'm telling you, <laughs> Leah knows it. Ryan, does it not hurt? It hurts. Uh, Owen asked, how are the sickos? <laughs> and are Tracy sickos? said, do you mean the birds or Ryan? <laughs> well, That's funny. You know, all I have to say about that is, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Oh. I, I think, you know, I am a little bit odd. I'm a little bit of an odd guy. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, come on here. Look at what we're doing. We're all we're all sickos. And Tracy, don't say you're not a little bit sick. Last year at this time, you didn't have you didn't even know what a pigeon was. Now look at you. You're into the pioneer village. You want pioneer swag, and yeah, Tracy, yeah. I'm making earrings, Tracy. I'm making earrings out of rings. Hey. I can't help it, Tracy. I just make this stuff happen. Great day You're today, right. though. We had had the McGinnis, oh, Mc, yeah. the McGinnis and Mikey Loft. They love the birds. They got to handle their birds today. They got to look around. They enjoyed it. Lots of fun, and I love to see that. Oh, absolutely. Always nice when. We have people stop in, especially participants, and I know that uh, they handled, I believe, their participants, and I, from what I understand, we're quite pleased with them. Yeah, everybody was very happy. I could see that uh, Jim, the veteran pro, <laughs> he had the look in his eye when he handled Phoenix Jr. I could see it. I said to, I said to, to Mikey, or Mike, I said... Watch out for the old guy. He's going to claim him. He knew. He knew. Jimmy is going to pick that bird. I can see it. I can feel it. It's my uh, ESRP. <laughs> oh, ESRP. Oh, boy. It's, it's, a, it's a move. It's a move. Don't worry. Let's see. How are they looking for their feed? We're not worried about how fast they trap tonight these Yellow jackets. Want to make sure they get the grub into them. Looks like everyone's down. Let's just give a little bit sprinkle more. Give a shout out to Jay-Z, Mike Parrish, 
And I believe our good friend from the west of Ireland, yes, Joe Freely is in the house. Good evening from the west of Ireland. Beautiful, warm weather here today. It's not bad here. What what would you say the temperature is? Well, you're in the loft. What is the temp well, what does the well, temperature okay. gauge say? So right now the world temperature is thirty. Not as nice. I mean it's just that perfect, you know, you gotta wear deodorant, but it's still good temperature. But in Canada, it is thirteen degrees. And if you are American and you're here, it's fifty five. So either way, it's a bit chilly. Just a wee a bit. bit. A wee bit chilly. ABC Loft on YouTube's in the house, and he said you got every color in this race. Beautiful thing to see. Yes, it is. We encourage the colors. We encourage the colors. We love the blues. We love the checks. But we encourage people send colors. First of all, it's easier to spot in the loft. And secondly, we're out to prove that colors can kick butt too. Oh, and, and you know, another very important thing that I do want to mention uh, for people that are coming by, and, and I love it, I love people coming by, uh, I always like to say, if you're coming by, Tony Loft, anybody, you're welcome. All we like ask you to do is just let us know. That way we can have your birds ready. So when you come, you know, I don't care if you've driven five miles or 100 miles. I want you to be able to say, hey, it's midway through the season. I randomly showed up. I got the opportunity to handle my birds. It was great. And sometimes if you just kind of spring it, you know, if you have a blue bar or a checker, I, you know, I feel guilty if I can't go out and just pick it right out. You know what I mean? So please let me know. That's all yeah. we really ask. But we love the support. Mandy is in the house. Rodrigo says where he is in Arizona. It's 79 degrees. 79. That's lovely. And it's dry, too. It's not never humid there. James Timothy Walter says it's 80 degrees in and sunny here in South Mississippi. Is it humid there, James? Do you guys get, I imagine you get a lot of humidity, whereas Rodrigo gets more um, dry heat. Uh, Mandy, dry heat. yes, uh, Mike and Jim made out very well today. I had a lovely visit with Ryan and Richard and were able to handle uh, your participants and Mikey bought his pail of uh, all in one and it was a very nice visit. Oh yeah. Wait till they get home there. Wait till they get home there. Or I don't, or should I not say anything Leah? Oh yeah. No, don't say anything. We, we sent along a, a little, a couple little things for, well, you'll see when they get home. Uh, the yeah, yellow, see. the yellow jacket section camera is on hold. Hold on, well they're they're drinking I'll, right now. I'll let you straighten that out and let me know once you. have It's straightened. They're just drinking. Um, it's just it's frozen. Uh, did you, anybody watch the movie Frozen? I never did, but I never did. No, I'm not really into yeah, Disney. I love them. Uh, James says, yes, ma'am. I can't do it in the fantastic accent that you have, James. Mine would sound like a really bad, ooh, now what's going on with the camera? Oh, there you are with your Mr. T. My, my impersonation would sound like a really bad Canadian trying to be someone from the deep south, so I won't even try, but he says, very humid there. Uh, Mandy, yes, he, uh, handled, um... Mikey handled oh, his participants, handled and we did get your replacements. They'll be checked in on this evening's show. ABC Loft says it's 65 degrees in Delaware. Rodrigo, next month will be 100 degrees plus. Yeah, wow. I mean, it gets hot here, real hot, but we get the humidity. It's gooey. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gooey. So, are right, you really, so we're, you're, we're just going to have the one camera for now? Is the other one frozen? The other one shut off. Sorry, guys. Oh, a technical, I see it there. Technical chit-chat. I'm going to put this out into the Avery so you can see it. I'll fire it back up. You know yeah, how things you. work around here, Leah. Yes. Oh, Mandy says, uh, Mike and Jim's birds, I am just the cheerleader. Yes. Okay, you're right, Mandy. Mandy, you got to get yourself some of your own birds. 
Oh, she's Some on your, that, I can tell. Your own participant. As we wait here. Speaking of participants, wanted to share this lovely little photo while we wait for Ryan. This is a lovely little photo sent by Kevin Kearns, Kearns Loft. He sent it to me yesterday of his little youngster banded with his Pioneer Gold Band. So I thought that was super cute. Ryan, are you coming back? There he is. I... There he is. Hold on, hold on. Ryan's got to make things happen here. As it's part of the shows. You know what I mean? You know how it goes, Leah. I do. Joseph's asking, are you going to be able to get birds from the States into Canada? Are we planning to go um, the beginning of May? Before May the 9th, anyway. That's the plan. We're planning on something. We're just working on it. Uh, you know, we need to get the birdage going, but we're we're gonna we're gonna be on something. Don't worry. Okay. Are you ready, Leah? Um, I think I'm ready. I know I am. Um, when will you be putting the birds? Um, I guess ABC Lost asking putting the birds outside. Is that what you're asking? It's starting to roll now. Yeah, it's starting to roll now. All right, Leah, are you ready? Um, I think so, yep. Let me get my warmer out, and I'm just going to hit them with our So, yeah, I'm in the warmer. Why don't you explain what it is you're going to be doing? Uh, we're going to give them some warming in the mouth. I'm going to give them a drop in the mouth. And you just pop the mouth open, hit them with the worming, and put them out in the aviary. I didn't feed them. I just wanted them to ha get that into the system so they don't throw anything up. They're going to go have a little bit of worming in the water. You can have a drink of that. Leave them out in the aviary. Let them shoot, 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 shoot you know, shit, whatever they want to do. That's great. About 10 days from now, I will then again hit them with another wormer. So we have to mark that down on the calendar, Leah. Okay. And we'll do that again. And, and that'll be good. I mean, we never have, I haven't seen any issues with any worms. Body weight's <clears throat> great. A little bit of precaution. Uh, checking in the light. Looking for any lights. I haven't seen any. Also, this stuff here, I can put it on the back of the neck. Give them a little drop on the back of the neck, which I'll do. So it gets onto them, onto their skin. And that's how I do it. Just put it right on the neck. And away we go. So you get an opportunity to see. Your Red Wings, if you're on the Red Wings team. If you have questions and you're on, please let us know. We'll go from there. Chris Withers is in the house drinking his cocktails. What a perfect thing to do while drinking a Monday evening, because I imagine in your neck of the woods it is evening now, and watching a little uh, pigeon worming. Right, yeah, we are, we've actually... We, a a we good call, time to me. It's like pigeon porn. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. It is. Kind of. I Joseph says you version. guys are awesome, Joseph. Thank you. We think you're pretty awesome, too. Thanks for joining us here. I'm just trying to get myself set up so I can see the YouTube comments, too, and go through the ban list. So just please bear with me. Thank you. Just a moment. All right. Go ahead. Here we go. First little doy the up. CU MVRPC 466. 466. This is Boys in Blue, Jack Reacher, Neil Gonzalez, and Mike Vanderyak. Very nice. I'll give them one, one drop right there in the mouth. And again, I can hit them sort of on the neck. It could be a two-person job. You just go right on the neck. Two drops on the neck or a drop on the neck gets in. Here we go. Start to put them out into the aviary. And you'll see them do their thing. <clears throat> I'll open the wings on the birds for you. I like for seeing any lice. I haven't seen any. But you never know. You know. Uh, AU 2021 19234. 19, 2, 3, 4. 
Big Bang Loft, Randy Nurkle. This is Admiral's Express, named after, of course, the famous racehorse. Ricky Cruz. In the house, Jason. Mihalik is in the house. Nice to see you on. Good body weight. Molting good. Feeling great bodies. Great, great bodies. There we go. Next one on. Here we go. CU York Region 909. Italian Loft. This is Purell. No lice. Maybe what I will do is. If you guys have questions. Now is the time. How many of you guys worm? Do you worm? If you worm, let me know in the comments. Next one up for your viewing pleasure. Uh, this was the guy who was in the sick bay. His body is coming back around. He's doing a lot better. Um, Central Nova Scotia, 21033. Tub Life Lofts, Frank Yanknit. This is El Santo. Yeah, bred by Dave Ottaway, which is good. Some friendships for me. Oops. Come on. I got to get in the groove. So, Mandy, when Mikey gets home, you'll have to ask him how he thinks um, his birds and Jim's birds handled. You'll have to let us know what they say. I'm pleasantly surprised. I know it's always a little nerve-wracking for me, especially because Jim, <laughs> Jim ran a race for quite a while, so I know he knows. Uh, he Jim's knows been around the block one or two or 12 times. He's not new yeah, he on knows this, the, yeah, this game. He knows the name of the game. Next one up. Uh, I stepped on him again. Jesus. Uh, see, see you. Five, nine, three, six. Mikey's loft. This is Phoenix Jr. There's Phoenix Jr. Mandy, you're going to get a chance to have a good look. She says, for sure I will. Thank you. Good or bad, we want to hear either or. Don't save our feelings. We're almost starting to be like Teflon. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're, we're pretty good. There he goes. He's looking good. I mean, I'm telling you, he's molten. And like Jim said, the muscle on this pigeon is out of this world. He was eyeballing her right up. At this here we go. CU 5932. Oh my goodness. Two in a row. Mikey's loft. Sally Jr. We don't hear much about Sally. But that's a good well, thing. You know what I learned today about old Sal? This is the greatest part about Sal. She's just a blue bar, plain old blue bar, but look what she's got on her head. Ah, a little white patch. So she's like a giveawayer. She's in the colored section. She's in the colored zone. So you know, just to let you know that uh, now I can I can pick old Sal out and we can talk about her. You know how it is. Grandma Mandy is giving her love to Phoenix Junior and Sally Junior. There we go. That's the best way. Right onto the back of the neck. Let that go in, which is good. There we go. Go on. <clears throat> Next one up, Leah. Here we go. Central Nova Scotia, 21061. 21061. So sure lost, Mr. Dave Ottaway. This is Betty Boop. Joseph says, Ryan reminds me of Mr. T. You think? 
Well, that's see, it's kind of funny. This is how intelligent our stat, our our participants are, or our viewership. Uh, what what kind of look was I going for, Leah? Oh, Mr. T, I hit her the first and shot. I mean, that's the type of stuff. Oh, look at, look at, look at it. It sounds good. It looks good. What Listen, do they I say? Had ravens, it's a, it's, I had ravens it's, outside looking to capture me. It's del It's a delight for the eyes and the ears. You jingle when you walk now. Listen, I do a lot more than jingle. I do the the truffle shuffle. <laughs> Next one up. Next one up. What? Oh, Leah, this is a fun one. YRI1041. We haven't seen him in a while. Blue Sky Loft, Calvin Chi. This is, oh, a grasshopper. Remember? About a month ago, yeah. he was having a rough time. Now you don't even notice him. Mandy says, Sally is hard to spot because of blue bar. Well, that's right, Mandy. And now you guys won't make that mistake again next year, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Next year, you'll well, send all colors. Perfect. Good job, Grasshopper. Next one up. ARPU11 or AU Pioneer112155. Put your Wolfie emojis in the comments. Wolf Hill Loft. This is VR Wolf. See, there's three three from Wolf Hill. There's always one that's the star. You never hear about VR Wolf or Thirsty Wolf. It's all about Black Wolf. Yeah, see, that's how the that's how Wolfie gets you is all. He ropes you in with Black Wolf, then he hits you with the VR and the Thirsty Wolf. And just the just saying the word Thirsty Wolf gets me fired up. You know what? No, but you it, say thirsty, it's, I have it's a drink. It's kind of like us, right? There's two of us in the family. No one ever cares about Leah. It's all about Ryan. <laughs> He's yeah, the it's star. Kind of funny. It's kind of so funny how you say that. Meanwhile, there's I'm, pigeons I mean, named after you. Listen, I love Black Wolf, but now I'm feeling like I need to root for poor little VR Wolf or Thirsty Wolf. Because you all flock to Black Wolf and forget about the other two wolves. <laughs> yes, I've lost my mind. <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed that Wolfie didn't put five in so we could have the wolf pack. The wolf pack. Yeah, he clearly yeah, wasn't I'm thinking just... about that, was he? Here we go, Leah. This one always makes me want to have a drink. See you. One, three, two, oh, two. Jason Mihalik, Pepsi. See, I told you. Should be dry Pepsi, Pepsi. But we'll go with it, Jason. A for effort. A for effort. Desperate times, desperate measures. I mean, I'm not saying I've mm. never had a regular Pepsi, but it's definitely not my favorite. Here we go. This is a this is another big fan favorite. The fans are crazy about this one, Leah. They talk about it all the time. I've been checking the other sites because they're talking about us over there, and this is the bird they're talking about. Oh yeah? Okay. See you, 2021. Yes, that's right, 2021. 1621. Cruz Family Loft, Speedy Gonzalez, Ricky Cruz. You. If you're watching, Ricky Cruz is doing a great thing. He's getting his club members together to convert to the Benzin clock. He's hoping to get five members that convert, and they're He's going got to four. get a club, a club unit for absolutely free, which is fantastic. Well done, Ricky Cruz. Excellent job. We're looking for one more out in that Niagara area. Next one up from the York region, nine twelve. He's known as Anthar Lawfully. I'm going to take this one for you. This is Bentley. Bentley from Troy Spencer. Nice, handsome looking, strong fellow there. Not Troy Spencer, the bird. No, I don't want Troy's wife coming for me. You know how yeah, the rumors right. get, get spread. 
Oh, you know how they get spread. I know how it is. I, I said one time that Gordy looked nice, and, you know, I had people coming after me there. And that was Gordy. Jay-Z Gordy. says it's it's Joe Boo time. Hmm. Joe oh, remember Boo. that? He talked about that last time, Joe Boo. It means something, but I can't no, quite remember. No, isn't that the, ho the Hawk contraption thing? I don't know. Remember last year? He had this, like, magical Hawk hawk deterrent <coughs> and he called yeah. it this thing and we were like what are you talking about is that what you're talking about jay-z here we go next one up cu 2021 16 16 again from cruise family loft Mama Cruz, M16. He's doing a lot better since he came out of the sick bay. I think his weight's going to, his weight keeps going up. <clears throat> I think he kind of went into a little shock of ruby. Okay, Jay Z says a ruby. it's yeah. a wind puppet. You can buy them on Amazon. Owen, get on Google and look for it. Oh, is it wait, like the, I know what it is. Is it it's like that those thing ghosts? they use at the gas stations? The things oh. you use at the gas, you see at the car lots, and they're flying around. That would be you know, fun. Hold on. I, I'm going to say something. If people are using that, I think, for real fly, for flagging, I don't know. I like them. They look cute. Maybe, Leah, can I have one? Could someone get me oh. one? Uh, oh, for flagging. I thought it was to scare the hawks away. Uh, for flagging. <sighs> It's good for a starter. You don't need it all the time because you want to see birds naturally go. Like in a racing season, I don't want to flag them. I want to see what they're going to tell me naturally. But that's a me thing. Everyone's different. The uh, dogs Belgium. would go ballistic. Okay, go ahead. Sorry, Leah. You I'm, just I'm say so fired up. I'm thinking imports. I'm thinking Pioneer or Feathers Elite Pigeon Auction Season 4. Serge Van Alsacker just sent me a message, Leah. Serge Van Alsacker is in. Oh. You, awesome. see, you see what I'm doing here? I, I'm doing, th Leah, I'm worming. I have worms. I got Mr. T jewelry on. I'm thinking Joe Boo. And you know what? I got to keep all this shit together. Why? Because season four, <laughs> Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions is in the house. And you know what? I'm starting to run low on fluid. By the way, let's give a big shout out, Leah, to the spongiest chihuahua you've ever met, Scouty. Awesome. Um, over on YouTube, can't forget about my friends over there. Uh, Steven's in the house. He said, greetings to everyone watching this channel. Hello, Steven. Uh, David James. Oh, I'm not even going to attempt your last name. When does the racing season start? I know that's the question of the day we're going to ask ourselves. I know. Uh, we got a ways to go. Actual racing doesn't start until August. But training and will begin in uh, when? July? Yeah, June. July. Uh Every what? single training toss from two miles all the way up, you can tune into the daily shows. Those will be the key shows. There'll be pick birds. There'll be pools. There'll be fun. Every race day, you will see the releases at release point and every race day show. Our first hour, we're on clocking birds. You will clock with us. You will see the festivities. You will see the droppers. This is not a camera that focuses on the loft and walks away. Oh, no, no. You get Leah. You get me and you get LMR. We are all on the camera for those birds coming in. Every inch, every brick, and every mile, you will see it. We give you the play-by-play. -play. It's just the best. Sorry. Very emotional there. <clears throat> Dave says, uh, you're in good form today, Ryan. Too funny. So, yeah, Serge Van Elsecker. I'm going to have to now pronounce. I'm going to have to practice that for the next six months, though. So, uh, when it comes to his auction, I don't butcher his name. For any of don't you, do a Jose. Don't do a Jose. For any of you fans, we'll be coming to apparently season four Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Here we go. Next one up. See you. 16, 18. Ricky. How are you doing it? 16, 18. Cruise Family Lost. This is Skyrider. Don't worry, Leah. I'm on. Listen, I'm making moves that people have never even seen me do. And actually, a lot of these moves, I don't even know how I'm doing them. <laughs> I don't know either. 
Oh, David said that he, they stopped uh, three times there in, oh, he's from Malta uh, because of COVID. Yeah, unfortunate. It has kind of put the screws to a few people's countries, areas, racing. Go ahead, Ryan. All right. Yeah, no, I, I get it. Uh, here we go. York Region 1202. Twelve oh two, Sparky Loft. This is AK forty seven. Again, uh, I was talking to Troy about the bachelor and bachelorette party for Sparky's, uh, you know, Sparky's big wedding, and oh, Troy yes. even agrees that it should be the wedding, the reception should be at the Pioneer Village. He thought that was a good idea. I think it would be fun. Why not? Yeah. I'm sure his uh, future wife would love it. Well, sure. You got to start him off on the right foot. And then think about it, all the wedding presents could be pigeon related. Like get his, you know, get a scraper or, or get a. What are you talking beater. about? He can register for bands. They can buy him bands for the 2022 season. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Put your wolf. He gets beat up even in the basket, Black Wolf. Oh, here oh. you go, guys. Get the wolfy emojis in the comments. A fan favorite from Wolf Hill Loft. Black Wolf. Yeah, he's look at Leah. He look, he took a beating already in the basket. They're beating on him every which way. This guy, look at his head. He gets beat in the Avery. He gets beat in the nest box. He gets beat everywhere. But you know what? What doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. Well, that's what we've learned. That's right. And this bird here does not know the word no. Well, that's what you were saying. You were saying that you noticed that he's in. he goes in and instigates them. Well, yeah, he, he, well, I remember, like, I one thing I have to say, I remember one time we'll, we had an auction. I think it was uh, for uh, uh, Bartosz and Tomas there from Poland. And uh, Wolfie was there, and Wolfie was challenging everyone to pick them up. I had never heard of this, but Wolfie liked it. Like, he was like, Roar! and he'd like pick you up, Roar! he'd pick you up. <laughs> and I mean, that's what I like about Wolfie. He's going to give you his best on every day. Oh, Mandy. Amen, girlfriend. <laughs> she says, a scraper for a wedding gift. Guess that's why I never went down that road. <laughs> oh, you think? We're trying to get in the collaboration with Dyson for the first shit back. Yeah. It scrapes as it sucks. Dyson, I'm just throwing that out there. Here we go. Next one from Central Nova Scotia Racing Pigeon Club. That's probably bred by Dave Ottaway. 21006. Kearns Loft, Pineapple Express. you guys need any trees trimmed or cut down, Kern's Tree Service, we'll look them up. Well, I was going to I was gonna ask uh, Kevin, because uh, I know uh, Gordy has some bushes that need to be trimmed. I was going to send uh, Kevin Kern's down there. Looking oh, good, goodness. looking good, L looking tight, looking right. If anybody wants to purchase a Joe Boo... And you're on our Facebook page. Owen has put on put on some Amazon links. If you're interested in your very own Joe Boo. Thanks, Owen. Guys, give Owen a round of applause. I mean, he's out here improving. He's improving it, man. You're doing good. You know, Leah, let's be honest. Last year, we went through half the season. And every time Jay-Z said Joe Boo, I thought it was a fantastic mixed drink that I had never tried. But it sure excited me. Now, well, that it's was not a mixed drink. That was just when we first kind of met Jay Z, and we weren't quite sure who or what he was. And we were like, "What is this guy talking about?" But now we know let, him. He's, just... he's like our brother from another mother from down under there. And let's just remember, uh, you know, one thing: we say his name is Jay Z from New Jersey. For you French people, 
Yes, it's okay. You can call him ZJ. It's okay. And Lee, every once in a while, I want you to throw out a ZJ. Or for our Canadian fans, it would be J Z. Because in Canada, we say oh. Z Z. J Z now we're really quite quite the same ring to it. No, and think about it. J Z it sounds great, rolls off the tongue. Z J it sounds great as well. I think we should can we're just let's just and let's just get rid of Z and let's go with Z. Okay, we'll agree. J Z. Next one up. Next one up. A U two thousand and twenty one. 19225. If you like chocolates, this guy's for you. From Big Bang Loft, this is Poncho. Mandy says horticulture, parks, and forestry was my job with the city of Oshawa before the boys were spontaneously conceived. So you're a gardener. I love gardening. You know. Uh oh. Ryan's camera's going to. Somebody's calling Ryan. He will be back. Yeah, uh, call, calling for our loft supplies. They're not in yet. Oh, okay. Well, the can your camera is yeah. frozen. So can you fix that, please? Just, just. All right. Just hold on. We will just put on the Avery cam for a moment. Wait for Ryan to come back. Come on. <laughs> that would be him trying to reconnect. Uh, Jay-Z says, you're going to hear that name a lot this season. I bet. Jay-Z's perfect at his pick birds. Poncho and Lefty. That's right, James. Sorry, guys. Just wait for Ryan to reconnect here. There I am. There you are. And there he is. Wait, now I got Now I screwed up the okay. camera angle. Hold on, I gotta fix the camera. Sorry. And that and that and there you go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, one nine two two five. Randy yes. Nurkle. Randy Nurkle, Big Bang Loft. This is Poncho. Okay, next one up. Uh, next one up, Leah. You know him as Guru. 8204. Carl Loft, Tony, also known as Taffa. Taffa? Jeez. Anyway, Tony from Carl Loft. This is Guru Jr. Jay-Z says, nice bird. Oh, Leah, something off the line just came in into my ear. Season four, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Bart Verbeek. What's happening today? Bart Verbeek, season four. Already. The mothership has spoken to me. Wow. See that? Guru's another one. There he goes. He's looking better. His little his the little feathers on his head are coming in. Yeah, he's he's lost a little bit of of, of body weight. Uh, I don't think I'm overly worried about it. He's a nice bird. He's he's going to be fine. Some of them, uh, some of them, some of the birds you'll see, they'll go up or down a little bit. Some never change. Uh, but it is what it is. Next one up, sixteen or CU sixteen o three. From the Junior Cruise Boys, Spirit Junior. Oh, good. Tony's on, so he's able to see. Maybe we should call James Timothy Walters JT. We have a JZ and a JT. Yeah, it's going to get really confusing. I think James Timothy Walters, it just sounds like he's kind of like, like a you're right. Like one of those, You're right. Like a like a slab. Like we got a high. Right. Like you know, it's like uh, it's like saying Michael Jackson. 
or yeah, like I take that back. You're you're going to continue to be referred to as James Timothy Walters. And same with the what's his name from the West of Ireland. He has to always be the West of Ireland. That's right. Uh, what's the I, I missed the name again. Oh, by the jingle. <sighs> Anyways, here we go. Next one up, AU two thousand twenty one 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 zero six zero eight. From Blue Sky Loft, this is Butterfly. Beautiful name. Oh, apparently they called James Timothy Walters Bulldog. Well, that's quite a departure from James Timothy Walters, but. You know who I haven't seen on today and I'm a little bit concerned? Hmm. Glenn Thornley. Where is he? No, I think he was on at the beginning. All right. All right. T Tony says, boy, that guru, he got to figure out how to molt better. He needs to talk to a guru. <laughs> what can I say? It's one of these things. It's all about the show. Here we go. Next one up. This was the guy. I said it was down a little bit of weight. Ooh, I got to fix his flight. One flight to pull. He broke it. Broken flight. We trimmed it up for him. There we go. Uh, YRI 1209. Sparky Loft. Ripple. Or T-Dog in Louisiana. So we have many options for James Timothy Walters. You can name him many different names. I mean, you know, I would thought, you know, no, I, I, it's James Timothy Walters. He's come on as James Timothy. You read him <laughs> as James Timothy. It's James Timothy. That's what we call them, athletes of the sky. That's right, Jay Z. I still haven't figured out how I can get you guys' comments up on the screen, but. Yeah, well, if you spent, I'm not if you sure spent if it's an less, less, less time enjoying the Hortons. Yeah. We could probably get that done. Next one up. Oh, it's like it never ends here. Next one up. MBRPC 407. Island Paradise Loft, Billy Bishop. Look at him. He's only got three, he's only got four flights to go. Molten good, real fat. I mean, I the darkening is not holding his flights, but he'll be he'll be done by the time it's time. Ah, Glenn was watching through YouTube on the smart TV, but no way to put in commons. See? Off to work now. Oh. Okay, Glenn. <laughs> Have a good time at work. You must work the night shift, obviously. Well, sometimes that happens, Leah. It happens. Oh, this is a fun thing, Leah. What 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 do we always get people that ask what we do? Don't you love that? <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, replay Brian's in the house. Late but not forgotten. We'd never forget about you, Brian. Welcome, welcome. Here we go. Next one up. CU six six eight three. Glenn Thornley, Charlie's legacy. Oh, no, don't be Charlie's. sorry, Glenn. We all have to work. We get it. And speaking of work, yes, this is what Ryan and I do for work. <laughs> we have people ask us, like, well, what do you do as your regular job? Like, are you off work right now? This is work. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of interesting, I know. And and our hours are way different than most of you. It doesn't end. No, it doesn't. Here we go. Leah, you're going to like this one. AU Pioneer one one zero six zero seven. Blue Sky Loft Dragonfly. Oh, he's off. Okay, you're off work. Glenn's off work. Okay, good. So now you can watch and comment. Well, we still got some more years to go too. 
Uh, Dave says, you guys got the best jobs. Well, it depends on the day, Dave. It depends on the day. <laughs> Dave, when you let them out or you take them training at a 50 miles and you drop 50 of them, yeah, that's your day where you really enjoy yourself <clears throat> because you get your lovely fan base. It says uh, it's an international internet netual taser on new type of a taser. Thomas Zimmerman is in the house, guys. A reminder, stay tuned to the end of this broadcast because we've got something exciting to show you. And you will see right there in the back, Pioneer, sponsored by Benzing. Join the revolution. Make your finish line exciting. That's what I like to say. Man, it looks good even from here. I'm not talking about Mealy. I'm talking about that Benzing sign. Sure does. Can you see it? I kind of like the finish line with the with the envelope and just it's very classic, clean looking. Man, here we go. Next one up from the Central Nova Scotia Racing Pigeon Club. That's right. Bred by Dave Ottaway. Two one zero seven four. So sure loft. This is Gladiator. Steven on YouTube says, so many good-looking birds. It's going to be a great racing season. It absolutely is. David from Malta on YouTube says uh, that he's happy to hear that he's going to be following along all season. Fantastic. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you are in a different country, a different part of Canada, a different part of the universe, you will have the opportunity to participate. Now, just the time, we're going to have a claiming series. We're going to have so many fun uh, things, race races for you at home to participate in. You can own a bird here. Absolutely. Troy Spencer is in the house. He says, hello, everyone. Mike Sheridan got here late. What are you doing, Ryan? What are we doing? Doing a little, just, we're doing a little bit of what we call a worming. I noticed myself that I had some worms, so I treated for myself, and I'm going to treat the birds. Treating the red wings with a worming treatment. Not that anybody has worms, but just a little bit of prevention. Ryan, that camera is buffering like crazy, just to let you know. Which, which one? The, the, main. U cam, the U cam. Sorry. Let's give it a second to catch up. There we go. Thank you. Okay, here we go. CU 8201, here you go. Carl Loft, this is first. Carl Loft, first junior. The one we have a hard time finding. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just, he's just a regular old big blue checker cock. He's a big man. Hit him up with his little bit of worming. Now, nobody answered my question. Do you guys worm your pigeons? Yes or no? If it's no, it's no big deal. It's not going to be shame on you. I'm just curious. There you go first. Wow. Here's another beautiful pigeon. Absolutely gorgeous. Central Nova Scotia, 21007. <clears throat> Kearns Loft, this is Timber. Beautiful pigeon. Absolutely beautiful. And nice to see Kevin Kearns is back again this season. He had a good year last year. He did very well there at the finals. I think he was right up at the top. And I think he had issues breeding, but it was nice that he uh, called on Dave Ottaway to help him out. And I'll tell you, Dave sent you some very nice birds, which is great to see. I like to see when people are helping out people. And uh, good job, Dave. Good job, Kevin. Mike Paris says, sorry, don't get text much at work. Just listening and watching when I can. No, sorry. It's necessary, Mike. We're glad to have you on. Tony says, wow, two times in two days. Yeah, you've seen first twice now in a row. That's got to be worth something. 
You, you um, won't see him to the end of the season now. <laughs> as far as the worming question goes, Brian Mansker does worm. Dave Ottaway is a yes. Troy Spencer is a yes. Tony says, I had dewormed them before I sent them over there, which is no problem, right, Ryan? You can multiple times, not going to hurt them. Glenn Thornley says that he used to with Piperzine. Piperzine. Troy's going to do his again this week. And uh, Tony says yesterday he dewormed uh, his again at his loft. What about YouTube? Friends on YouTube, do you guys deworm your pigeons? Here we go. Next one up. See you, 1608, Leah. Cruise Family Loft. Uh-oh, hope we don't need one of these this year. This is the lawyer. No, Thomas hopefully is we asking, don't. asking, do you put that on the neck of the pigeon? So show them slowly, Ryan. Maybe I'll just do a solo and get that out of the way for a second. And you can just show how we administer to the next participant. Jason yeah, Mihalik no deworms his pigeon. Well done. I wonder if Mike Vanderyak does. I haven't seen him on. I'm, I'll have to remind me to ask Mike. him again if he comes on. Well, Mike doesn't Mike doesn't use medication, Leah. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, next one up, and I'll show you how I do it. Uh, 1201, C U Y R I, 1201. 1201 from Sparky Loft. This is Kill Shot. I'll give them a drop on in the mouth. And again, I just, exactly like you were saying, I just pull the feathers back on the neck, and I give them. I give them a couple drops on the neck, just like that. So it gets onto the neck, right onto the to the skin, because it's a, a more of an oily base. So it just goes on, and then the next time I'll just hit it, hit it in the water, and that's good. The droppings are good on them. I'm not overly uh, overly worried. Brian says I check them for worms with my finger. Oh my. Uh, Pigeon Man over on YouTube says that he does. Now, what are signs, Ryan? Maybe you can explain to everybody. What are signs that your pigeons might have worms? Or people in ah, the uh, I, comments, put in the comments, what are signs? You, you can see them sometimes when you're scraping the droppings. Remember, scraping droppings, look. Take a look. You can see them in the droppings. You'll see them. Uh, you can, sometimes you'll see in the body weight of the birds, their appetites are great. Their feathers shiny, looking good, but they're losing their, 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 it's like they're eating themselves. You get what I'm saying? Uh, like they're, they're, just they're, they're overeating. Just eating, overeating and not putting the right weight on, but they don't, the droppings are tight, stuff like, just look. We don't, I mean, I think only one time and it was in quarantine, I seen a bird and it had a worm like that in it. And that was, uh, I treated it and it was gone, lickety split. Now, can it, if a pigeon has worms, could that be fatal? I guess sure could. If left, un, I mean, if left untreated, sure. do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think the thing just it would eat, eat you right up. I, I mean, I don't know if it would kill you, but geez, I would think you'd, I don't think it would be good. Next one up. This is going to make me thirsty. One one two one five six. One one two one five six. Put your wolfy emojis in the comments from Wolf Hill Loft. Thirsty wolf. Thomas Zimmerman said, "In China, I could even see it in an eye." Huh? Yeah, I heard that too. Yeah, that that's. You see, it's funny what you remember. You see it in the eye. Whoa. I don't want to talk about worms. It, worms, fleas, mites. Uh, you know, uh, this worming that we're using here, our chihuahua, our one chihuahua sometimes gets mites in his ear. Ernie, Leah. Yeah. We'll put a couple drops of this right into his ear and just kind of massage it in. We'll do it a couple days. His ear clears right up. So. Um, Troy says, uh, for worms, he uses diatomac. Oh, diamo. Casillas, maybe? 
D I A T O M A C E O U S Earth. It's a white powder that he puts on the feed. Right. I guess that's good. I mean, yeah, whatever, uh, whatever's been working for you. I mean, we use the Parasite X. I think that works good for the lice. We we like to use our our lice powder that we have. People have a lot of different things they do. You know, you you, you give uh, pigeons onions and greens. I think that even helps for worms. I I truly do it, but I do believe that's a me thing. There you go. Yeah. How do you prevent worms? I don't know how you prevent them. I don't know. Geez, we I, we don't we, we don't experience worms. It's kind of like a weird thing. But you just you go. just do prevent it. You use preventative treatment. You don't get them, but you yeah. always treat to prevent it from happening. Yeah, we'll we'll treat them once or twice a year, and we don't have that problem. Ricky's back. He's in the in the in the car today. He's going to be all jazzed up. Next one up, Leah. See you six six eight one. Glenn Thornley, this has come to my loft. A lot of fight. There we, we go. Haven't, we Where haven't done uh, done his twin yet, mirror image. I could do it next if you want. Would you like that, Leah? I don't know. Is Glenn on? I'm not sure if he's on. If he's at work, maybe he's off work. I don't know. Glenn, if you're on the line, put in the comments and we will show you mirror image next. If you want to get the show over with quickly. <laughs> If this is painful for you, I understand. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> we we hope you guys enjoy what we're doing. I mean, we, we want to bring this to you. So you sort of see what, when you're running a one-loft race, what it entails and what's it all about, or what we think it does anyways. Whoa, what a strong pigeon this is. Glenn says looking good. CU21004. Zero, zero, Two one zero zero four. This is South Shore Loft, Mister Handsome. He's a handsome boy. This guy. He's a big man. He's stubborn sometimes, but he's nice. James Timothy Walter put- says, "Great color, sure are." I'm so happy we have some nice, colorful ones. And guys who are sending birds, who still have birds to send, send more color. I'd love to have half and half. Yeah. And these birds, I can't wait to get them out and get this baby fat off of them and everything will tighten up. The feathers will even get better. Whereas right now we're in a molting period, so the, the everything they're eating is just going to produce feather. And I find when birds are molting, I find it, they're not as soft and silky because the body's producing feather, right? Right. Next one up, Central Nova Scotia 21017. Tub Life Lofts, this is Rocket. Oh, we have to um, explain this week's challenge. Are you putting them in the correct sections like we said we were going to? Leah, 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 Leah. All I got to say to you is two words. Pigeon, bingo. Okay, you don't worry about old Ryan here. I'll get this right. Tub Life Loft. What was the name of this bird? Rocket. Rocket. There we go. Tomorrow we will be doing the yellow jackets, so they're going to get their little warmage. Join us same time tomorrow. We're going to do this all over again with the yellow jackets. And you know what's nice that after that, then we're just down to the blue guys, right? The blues and the greens. Next one up, Glenn Thornley. This one's for you. 6682. Glenn Thornley, mirror image. Warming away as we go here. 
these guys will be ready to rip your clothes off today. They had uh, they, they got their breakfast skip, so they will be ready. So this week's team Tonight. challenge, I'm going to explain right after we announce who this bird is. Go ahead. All right, six six eight five, Glenn Thornley, you're up again. Up again, Glenn, Prince Charming. All right, this week's team challenge. In case you didn't guess it, it's going to be another trapping challenge because at the moment, that's all we can do. This week's team challenge is going again to be a trapping challenge. There, what? How are we going to work this, Ryan? Uh, we're going to do. Uh, we're going to divide the Avery. Uh, you know, each team will have two Averys. Okay, so you know the the, the uh, Red Wings right now. They'll be half in one Avery, half in the other. We will call them in, and we're going to have an obstacle. We're going to have three baskets. Birds got to go up over the enchanted baskets, make a hard turn into their section. First one from each heat will move on. That's right to Friday semifinals. What are we playing for? We are playing Leah, for. We are playing for one hundred million feathers elite dollars. What? How does that? Doesn't that? Wouldn't that sound awesome if we could say that? Yeah. No, we're not. We're not playing for a hundred million feathers elite dollars. Sorry. <laughs> that would be a. That would be a hard no, <laughs> for me. I tried, guys. <laughs> I tried. But we will be playing for a fifty dollar feathers elite gift card, and since Glenn Thornley donated so nicely his swag from last week. A Pigeon Boss t-shirt and baseball cap donated by Glenn Thornley. So this is going to be like the Glenn Thornley Cup, okay? Yeah. And remember, they got to go up and over the enchanted baskets. Up right. and over. Yeah. The Glenn up, Hurdles. Up and over. Yeah. Now, Glenn, if you want to make a sign for the Glenn Thornley Challenge, feel free or you could just have a photo of you beside your go wing sign with a thumbs up and we will use that for the Leah. advert for the challenge. And I want to just say one other thing. You know, I am that type of guy. I'll go on the old uh, net. And I'll creep people. I'll do it. I'm not afraid. I'll just punch your name in and see what comes up. And it was amazing. In high school, Glenn Thornley, amazingly enough, was his high school. He was the champion hurdlist. Well, hence the reason why we're having the Glenn Thornley hurdles in the Glenn Thornley Week 3 Team Challenge Cup. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Leah, do you remember in the lawn, in the, in the, in the thing, in race season, when I have the ramps up? For sometimes the droppers that go on the grass. <laughs> and at night I go out... <laughs> I trip over the ramps. <laughs> yes, I do remember. Moving right oh, along. God damn it. Here we go. MVRPC 416. You know who he is, Leah. For um, PD Pigeon, this is Mighty Heart for Peter Gonzalez. Of course, last week's trapping semi finalist. No, finalist. He was a finalist. He was he? a finalist. Yeah, he, he went up against Kill Bill. He really, he really, uh, in the finals, he shit the bed, but that's okay. That's it okay. happens. It, it happens. It happens. It well happens. Done. A win is a win is a win. Yeah. I've had people pay me. They're paying, they want me to, to sabotage Kill Bill. He's on fire. <laughs> Guys, none of the money in the world is going to make me sabotage a bird. It's just not going to happen. Next one up. From the York region, 1216. Sparky Loft. This is Stellar. Stay tuned, you know, folks, little... to the end. We have a special surprise. You know, the thing that really bothers me right now, and I'm going to let this out, Leah, a little bit. Sparky Loft, where is he? I haven't seen him. I don't know where he is. I'm getting a little worried. Troy Boy, where is he? Planning a wedding takes a lot out of you. Leah, Leah, Leah. Let's. I don't need an excuse. I need a sign. I need something. 
I need something. I need something. Next one up, MVRPC 406. Island Paradise Loft, Big Joe Mufra was in the sick bay and is now back in the loft. Yeah. Yeah, I think he I think he's all right. He's uh, you know what? The droppings I came in uh this I came in this or last night at midnight because we had a late show last night, which was a great show, Leon, a uh, family show. Uh, and I went out and checked the droppings. I was very pleased with everyone's droppings in both the sections. So I think he's going to be good. We hope. You never know. Time will tell. Time will tell. But uh, he's doing good. He's looking bright. He's now been wormed. There Big Joe Mufferoff goes. You are very welcome, Mandy. Mikey just returned. So Mandy and Nick got their treats. You're very welcome. Here we go. Next one up. Empire.caif4610. Oh, speaking of, this is Classic Flight Diego. Yeah, I remember, what did I call this one when I read the name Delia? Dingo. Dingo. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Ricky, <laughs> do you want to make me a beverage? Just make a new glass is fine. Save the trip. We're going to get LMR in here, guys. Oh, okay. Well, when, when LMR does come in, then I'm going to go and get my refill of my Diet Pepsi. All right. Here we go. I'm just giving uh, Diego. I call them Dingo. But it doesn't matter. It's beautiful. Wait. Looking strong. Good body. Nice white pin. Now, Mandy, you guys nope. have to have to wear your swag now around town while you're gardening, while you're painting, just, while you're painting with well, Bob well, Ross, well, well, while you're watching the show, while you're grocery shopping. See, see, this is the thing that you can tell. Uh, this is a me and a Mandy thing, Leah. You need to step back. Stay, stay in your lane. We call it stay in your lane. I do not want Mandy wearing that pink hat. I do not want her painting any type of Bob Ross painting because I know what's going to happen. She's going to beat the devil out of the brush and she's going to get splatter on that pink hat. So don't do it while painting. Anything else, go ahead, but no painting. Gotcha. See, it's not just a pigeon boss cap. It's a conversation starter, Mandy. It's a conversation starter. You wear that thing out to the grocery store, people are going to have Bam. conversations with you. Now, in the time of COVID, it might not be a great idea. But once all this stuff clears, go for it. Go ahead. Uh-oh, Leah, I got to switch the earbuds. There we go. Can you hear me? I can hear you. All right. Good job. Next one up. Oops. AU one nine two two two. Big Bang Loft. This is Lefty. Mandy, it hasn't done much for me, so <laughs> I wouldn't bank on that. Oh, she's going to wear grocery shopping every day. She doesn't want to get paint on it. It's okay. We've got lots. We've got lots. If you dirty yours well, up, I'll get you another one. Well, I just, you know, it's... Uh, and when yeah. you come down, mm -hmm. Ryan has a pink one, and you guys will both have matching pink hats. That'll be Mandy Day. <sighs> oh, we're going to have Mandy Day at the... Uh, uh, yeah, Mandy Day. I'm itching my foot here. See, I'm doing the stuff with worms and lice, and then I'm getting itchy. What does that say? I don't know what that says. Probably you might one. want to go see a doctor. That's probably what that means. Huh? AU19209. Big Bang Loft. Moneymaker. Moneymaker. Good name. 
I wonder, like, this is an interesting thing. So someone's name is Bird Moneymaker, right? Yeah. So this means that, let's see if it, you put this out to the atmosphere, if this one is going to be a money winner. Like, you know how we always say names? It's like, it's like, it's like Juju, or I don't know, whatever we call it, right? The like, power of suggestion, that. like the secret? Yeah. It's all positive. Well, let's see. Let's see if Moneymaker actually makes some money this year. No pressure. No pressure, Moneymaker. Well, there's always pressure. Here we go. Next one up. Now, this one I would have called him Silver Dollar. LMR's coming in. You can tell he's... he's and I, one thing I like about Love Manager Richard, when he makes a drink, the key thing to a good drink maker is he'll taste it. Because the whole secret is making sure that drink is made properly. Oh, thank you, Ricky. Is he going to talk to you for a moment so I can grab a drink? Or oh, apparently not. Alrighty. That, Unfor that unfortunately, like yeah. crap. Thanks a lot for following that bouncing ball. Uh, hey, wait, wait. hold on, Leah. I want you to go get a drink because you know what I want to talk about for a second. What? I want to talk about how thankful we are for everyone tuning in. And participating. Last night's family show was awesome. It was fun. We were all outside the box thinking. Positivity was great. Can I go now you know, and, and get and a I, drink? Well, sure, if you want. I'm talking and then, to you. And then you can, you know, kind of give some hints about what we're going to show at the end. I'll be right back. Now, uh, thinking together and outside the box and putting those suggestions in, this is what we need. Mike came today. Jim came today. They're asking about these bands. They're asking how it works. They're interested. I even feel inside of me that Jim McInnes may even be a handler. And I hope. I think it's great. We need to keep promoting it and growing it and having fun with it. But guys, throw the questions in. Don't be shy. We're moving in the right direction to keep this sport going. That's why we teamed up with Benzing. That's why we are using this clocking system. I didn't need another clocking system, but I wanted to raise that bar and go with the best. You gotta go with Benzing. How can you not? It saves you going to clock off. You don't have to. I hear people say, well, it's going to ruin racing. Oh, it's going to ruin racing. No, it doesn't ruin it. You don't have to look at the online figures as it as the race is going strike off for you is supposed to be at three o'clock go and look at the online figures at three o'clock and you'll see where you are and save the 20 minute drive the 30 minute drive the one hour drive save that it doesn't ruin it stop making excuses and the clock it's not expensive it's not for what it does it's going to put money in your pocket, keep you in a better mood. And you know what it does save? It does save a little bit of club fighting. It will save it. I promise you. It will. You see your club guys once a week. Have a good night at shipping. Enjoy putting the birds through. Put on a barbecue. Have a couple cold ones. Go home and get ready for the day's race. Then you have the rest of the weekend to spread with your friends and your family. You're not tied up at the pigeon club. Three hours on a Friday, three hours on a Saturday, and everybody's upset because six hours of your weekend is gone. Remember, what are we all short of? Time. Benzing puts time into your pocket, back into your life. More time to spend with your pigeons, more time to spend with your family. Benzing. It's the best. I'm back. What did I miss? Mike Vandriak's in the house. Well, yeah, we finished all the birds. Uh, Mike says, maybe Jim would be a captain. He has the facilities. Absolutely. Well, you know, and, and this is the whole thing. This is what we have to remember. If we stick together and come together and unite and look at the picture, not look at, take a look at Bob Ross's painting. You've got to look at that whole picture. And when you first start, the canvas is white, and in 30 minutes or 27 minutes exactly, he's put something together amazing. Why? Because all he did, he didn't see the white canvas. 
He's seen the bigger picture, and he allows you to see it through his eyes. 100%. Uh, Neil Gonzalez says technology saves pigeon racing. Uh, technology saves it. Thinking outside the box, changing things. Why are we still doing things the same way we did them in pigeon racing 100 years ago? Yes, I know with the exception, now we have some one-loft races. But I'm saying the bones of the sport. Why are we still doing things exactly the same way we did them 100 years ago? The world has evolved. Shouldn't the sport? Yeah, everything evolves. And and, and if you guys uh, are wondering, one-loft racing needs to evolve. It needs to get better. I'm going to score it, Leah. Oh, you know... One of my favorite things to watch is Barstool Sports Pizza Reviews on Dave Portnoy. One, one bite, everyone knows the rules. I'm going to give the overall one loft experience right now in the world, seriously, about a three, three point six. But I I'm want to saying one loft racing. Uh, well, of course. Eight. But I'm saying even as far as club racing, combine racing, I, I, I right. The, the, the clubs and combines are at the same level, Leah. There, there, there are three. There are two. There, there's no no go, get up and go. But I understand it's all volunteering. You know what? Who wants to volunteer all the time for nothing? And you know, people are arguing. This is why Pioneer, it's run as a business. It's run. We want to run it to another level where it's never been run here in North America like this. Mike Vandriak, what does that mean? Ryan did not us an... Hints. Hmm. Say that again, Mike. Sorry. I didn't give any hints. The end of the show. Mike, stay on board. Oh. I've got something to show you. Didn't give us any hints. Ah. What? I got something I'm to show you about... at the end. You know, I was talking about benzing, and I got off course, but there's going to be a surprise I'm going to show you. I promise you. Well, we got uh, this one is the 908 from New York Region. Italian Elite mm -hmm. from Italian Law. Big Thank guy. you, Troy Spencer. Yes, Mike Vandriak, we wanted to ask you earlier. Do you worm your pigeons? And if so, what do you use? Michael Peebler on YouTube. Hello, hello. Next one up, Leah. CU 1628. Cruz Family Loft, Pegasus. I'll give you a hint, Mike. It's going to be something revolutionary. Is that a good hint? I think it's an excellent hint, Leah. I think it really is a good hint. You got to stay tuned to the end of this broadcast. And okay. guys, starting, uh, we're starting next week. Stick on the page, share the page. And I want you to share this page, not with pigeon people, with everyone. Get it out there. Things are starting to happen. We want to include the world. Can I ask you to do me a favor? Yes, we do. Can you move the Avery cam to the Avery where the birds are actually going into, or is it? Are we almost done? No, we got a, we got quite a few more to go, don't we? No, we only got about a dozen. I'm almost out of juice on that cam, but I mean, I, you know what? I'll I can make this happen if you want. I mean, what is the cam at? Twenty percent. Let me move around down. I can move around down. I don't mind. I'll move around down. See, the problem is uh, our camera gear, it, it just doesn't have the old juice. Uh, Mike Vandriak answered and said that he uses Moxie Dexin pills and Quest. Mandy yeah, says that she you. knew. What did you know? You know what we're going to show at the, at the end with the surprises? Uh-oh, this camera's not going well, in the... Is it going in okay or not really? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, it was fine. Is that okay? Yeah. That's good? Uh, just over just a bit because the bar is fine. It's fine. It is what it is. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I'm very excited right now. Two reasons. Number, the first reason is I get to show the show what we've been wanting to show. And number two, I have to pee. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, Mandy knows. Okay, don't tell anybody else, Mandy.
And somebody's probably oh, calling him. Hold on, Ryan, you're cutting out. Give me the band number, please. 21002. <clears throat> 21002. Is that the auction? Is that the second one that he sent? Oh, maybe. 2100, yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. You want to talk about that now, Lee? You can. Um, so yeah. this bird here is from Dave Ottaway. And last night, if you guys uh, tuned in, you saw uh, a bird that LMR is going to put up for auction for the uh, trailer fund that we're doing. This is one from Dave Ottaway. Dave Ottaway will be putting this fellow up for grabs. Is it a cock or a hen, Ryan? Uh, I think it's a cock. A nice, young, strong cock. Beautiful. And you will be able to purchase this pigeon. Uh, he will fly for you in the one loft race. And if he wins, you'll get all the prize money. And at the end of it, you get to keep the pigeon. <clears throat> and all money is going to go towards the trailer fundraiser to build the Pioneer Trailer for the People's Combine. Yes, you know what? Great cause, great way. If you're on the outside and you want to get into the main event, there's there's one of them right there. Dave Ottaway flew very well last year at the Pioneer Youngbird. And remember, if you own the bird at the end of the season, you have an option to auction it off if you want, take it with you, put it into the Pioneer Old Bird. As we see, the sky has no limits. Next one up. From Niagara, 103. 103. From the Junior Cruise Boys, this is Miss Isle Junior. Neil says, I like the Monday motivational quote pictures. I share them on my FB page. Thank you. Because the quotes really pertain to anything in life. So anybody can appreciate them. And it helps to promote the sport. Now, speaking of the Motivational Monday posts that we do, uh, the photo for today's, which, um, Ryan, maybe I'm just going to throw it up here, if you don't mind. The photo today's um, Monday Motivation, as you guys know, we do them uh, weekly. This photo here was taken by Sydney Madison. She is one of our pioneer participants. And what I was thinking on doing, because I'd much rather showcase your guys' pigeons and everybody else's pigeons than just finding like random photos on Google or whatever. So if you guys have nice photos, nice shots of your pigeons, flying, landing, in the loft, I mean like action shots, right? Not like just kind of sitting in a nest box. Send them to me and... I will use them for our Monday motivation posts because I have to do a whole lot of them. I do one every Monday from now until the end of the race season. And what we're going to do at the end is we're going to pick our favorites and they are going to be put in our 2022 Pioneer calendars, which everybody uh, on the winning team is going to receive. And if your photo gets picked to be in the calendar, you'll get a free calendar. So get out there hey. and start taking photos of your birds. Hey, Leah, congrats. You are just on another level. I don't know where it's from. I guess all the years of, you know, me being your little brother, I finally rubbed off on you. And I want to say great, great job to that, Leah. Yes! Yeah! And you know, if you, if you have kids, everybody, the kids nowadays, they all like to take selfies, do they not? They're all into their cameras, taking selfies, taking selfies. Maybe your kids aren't into the pigeons, but I bet you they're into taking selfies and taking photos. Ask them to help you out, to take some action shot photos of your pigeons. It's a great way to get your kids involved. Just a thought. Throwing right. that out there. Next, next one up, Leah. IFEmpire.ca, the 4607. Classic Flight Loft. This is Nick. He was a, there Nick you was go, a, Nick. Nick was a semifinalist last week. 
Yeah, he was. He lost his red band. I got. Oh no, I got it right here. Good luck. You got another shot at it this week. Remember tonight's challenge, 7 p.m. The Glenn Thornley hurdles. It's gonna be fun. And actually, you know what? We're gonna watch me jump the hurdles, and I'm gonna first show you what the pigeons have to do. Tune in tonight. You're gonna love it. That's from a sports crocs on Leah. It's there the go, sports Nick. sports crocs. Oh boy. There and I'm going to say one thing. Mikey's Loft and, and Nick, they're, they're brothers. They're putting signs out. They're putting the effort in. And they're already moving up. Both times, they've made it to the semifinals and the finals, which is really good. We love the support. Thank you, guys. Next one up. Holy jumping. IFEmpire.ca 4608. Again, Class of Flight Loft, this is Matt. I like that idea with the calendar. It's really nice. Well, we will see. Like I said, I much prefer to showcase all of our birds and birds that we don't know. And that was, if you guys checked out the photo today for today's Monday Motivation, it was a lovely, lovely photo taken by Sydney. Sydney is a new junior flyer, so that's great. I should I think I could submit a picture of Ricky going up the twisted. <laughs> no, it has to be a picture of the pigeons. Oh, oh. shit. No, mean, I was like, all jazzed up. A sunset, a sunset shot of him yeah. up the going up the ladder. Yeah. Uh, the fun never ends in Pioneer Village. Next one up. See you. 2021 1607. 1607. So Matt is um, the one of the identical twins, one of the quads. Wow, Mandy, I don't know how you keep track of them all. Uh, 1607. This is Junior Cruise Boys Heat Wave Junior. Beautiful. Looking good. Yeah. Can you imagine, Leah? Like having identical twin. Like, geez. Like, I, if I didn't want to be on the show, I just put in my twin brother. Like, the this thought. Is the thing. This is not, this is the not fair. The thought of them, of there being two of you, frightens me. Could you imagine, Leah? Forget that. Forget two of me. Imagine four of me. No. Only in my nightmares, sky, I imagine that. The, the sky would have no limit. It, it would be it would be chaos. We have, have to have four pioneer lofts, four shows. You'd be beat. You'd be you'd be worked to death, Leah. <laughs> yeah. Now I know what I'm going to have nightmares about tonight. Four of you running around screaming at me to do things. Yeah, I don't scream. I'm just hyper. It's remember what is it? It's not. It's not a hyper problem. It's HDRD. So let's get the full rundown here. We have Nick, Benny, Matt, and Mikey. They are two sets of identical twins. Mandy, I have no idea how that happened, but wow. Did you like get a lottery ticket the day you found out or the, like, wow, what are the odds? Okay, go ahead. How many times have you misnamed them? Like you, by accident, you know what I mean? Like I could do, I, sometimes I call Ricky the wrong name. <laughs> Next one up. <laughs> See you nine, seven, four, one. Michael is asking, what is it that you're putting on the neck, please? Again? For those of us that have just tuned in, what are we doing, Ryan? This is Pandora, by the way. Wait a minute. This is Pandora from um, Joel and Gavia, J. Gavia Loft. Go ahead, Ryan. Uh, I'm just putting a little bit of worming, a drop in the mouth, and so a couple drops on the back of the neck to get it into the system. And I like putting it on the back of the neck. It just kind of goes in and soaks around. And this stuff, when you put it on, I'll show you what it looks like when you put it on your fingers. But there you go, Joel and Gavia. That one's for you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mandy is giving me the Coles Notes version of how it happened. Two eggs released and both fertilized <laughs> and both split. Yes, yeah, she got bought a ticket and she just calls them boys in big caps. <laughs> she must have the patience of Mother Teresa, I'm telling you. Go ahead. Well, Brian. I don't know, Leah. I don't know what to say. Okay, here we go. Uh, MVRPC. Let me make sure I'm reading that right. MVRPC. Yeah, 412. 412 from the boys in blue. This is Sheriff John Stone. Mandy's asking, is the same thing that goes in the mouth and the neck? Yep, same thing. I just give a, a one drop in the mouth. And I give them a couple drops on the neck. And I, actually, I'll, I'll show you now what it looks like when you put it onto your fingers. That one there had a really... You see the skin there, Leah? Yes. You see it? Okay, yes. that's what I'm looking for. I just put a couple drops on the skin. Okay? And uh, just soak some, coat some. Good. Works. It works. We have no problems. I mean, uh, I, I'm not really good experience in worms, but there's my fingers. Or Here's my fingers, right? You see the, the dust and the... I'll put a couple drops on just so you see. And then as you rub it in, it's very, it's very, it's an oil base. You see how oily it is? Yeah. No taste. Whatever. Looks like antifreeze, tastes like nothing. Beautiful. You know what? And again, everything we give to the birds, if, if, if I'm putting, if I'm putting a, uh, you know, respiratory or canker, or coxie or, or worming. I got no problems giving this to myself. If I'm giving it to them, I should be able to take it, right? For sure. Sure. Because. Holy jumping, Leah. This is a pigeon. Oh, man. We hit a 12.0. Central Nova Scotia, 21005. So, Shoreloft, this is Supernova. Leah? Yeah, no, I'm here. Yep. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure, but no, you know, um, everything you give to your birds, you should be able to take it. I, I think you really should. And, and you know, so it's good to try things out, taste it, see how it tastes. You know, if it's disgusting and you're like, oh, you know, maybe that's why they don't want to drink it. So check it out, you know. I know uh, when we spoke with Xavier Verstrada, that's he said he does that. Yeah, he does. He, you know, a uh, really nice, uh, Leah, how the world is small, isn't it? Talking to Jim McInnes today, and he looked on our wall and he's seen Xavier Verstrada. And he said he remembers when he went to Verstrada's place and seeing the father, Raul, he had a great relationship with him. And it's just interesting how the pigeon world and community is. You know what I mean? No, that's right. Excellent. Lots of fun. Wow, another super pigeon. Small world. Uh, Troy is asking, the pigeon, we asked him to donate to the trailer auction fund. Will it be participating in the Pioneer Race? Yes, it will be. Explain, Leah, how that works. Or do you want me to? Yeah, go ahead. Why don't you give me that Hold band on. number? Uh, this is Porsche. Hold on. Watch this. Ready? Ready? Hey, this is J.R. Zonigan. This is what's going to be happening uh, for Troy, for your bird. What are we doing? Oh, it's quite simple. You're going to send us this bird. We're going to, this young bird for this year, we're going to put it into the, we are paying for it to go into the Pioneer one lot race. The bird will be up for sale. About 10 or 12 birds for sale. Auction opens at $200 a bird. You bid on it. If you're the winning bidder at 300, 400, 500, the bird gets entered in, flies for the money. They own the bird at the end. They can auction it off. They can carry it over into the old birds. They can take it home. Whatever money the bird earns, they get. You know what you've done, Troy? You've helped us out with our trailer fundraiser, and we appreciate that. 
Hold on. <laughs> How about my twin brother? That was that not very like well me, done. is he? Very well done. Thank you. And all money raised in this trailer fundraiser auction, of course, will go to build help for the cost to build the trailer, to get the decals for the trailer, to make it the best trailer on the road. Yeah, we're gonna have the nicest pigeon trailer in North America. I know that's my goal. She's gonna hold the birdage. She's gonna look good. Bilby's on her right now. Billy Wima, he's on her, and away we go. This is Porsche from Ant Bar Loft. And you see, I told you she's oily, right? See when I hit the mouth, I dropped it the side of the face. You see it? Yep. That's a, you see it on my hand. You can still see the oil, right? Yeah. Glenn asks, okay. is the buyer allowed to name the bird? Sure. Sure, Glenn. Yeah, we got no problems with that. Even though, you know, I don't like auctioning birds with no names, we will let well, this you know one, what? we will let this one slide. Well, we can, we can name the bird and then it can be changed. It's fine. It's, I don't know. <laughs> I'm kidding. Like, you know what? We'll just name the bird the last name or the last name of the breeder. There you go. And then the person Perfect. can change it. Here we go. Empire 4609. Classic flight. This is Mandy. There she is, Mandy. Troy says that he will bring it by on Saturday. Awesome. Troy, we're also going to ask that you take your photo with your bird, please. So make sure you brush your hair that day. And pedigree, please. Take the time. Get the pedigree done. Remember, the more info you put, the better it is for you, the pigeon, and the trailer fundraiser, and the person buying it. And you know, if you've never done a pedigree before, it's a good opportunity for you to practice your pedigree writing skills. Um, Mike Vanderyak says a $25 admin fee to legally change the name after the auction. I like the way you think, Mike. You know what? Hell with the 25. Let's make it 100. 100. And dollar admin fee? Dollar. I think so. Admin fee. Admin fee here. And you know what? If anyone complains, take it up with our good buddy just down by Niagara, Mike Vanderjack. It was his idea. And you know what? He's leading the way. We thank you, Mike. Inch by inch we go. It's awesome. Last pigeon of the day, Leah, for the Red Wings. Then we have a couple comments and questions, so go ahead. Okay, I have to go on break soon. It's my favorite. And how did I pick this pigeon right to the end? I did it. I don't know how. I was wondering where the pigeon was. I thought, oops, I did it again. Last one up. See you in 2021. 130. No, sorry. 13206. There's my. Jason Mihalik, what a way to end it with some vodka. <laughs> Neil Gonzalez is asking or saying the car truck decal wraps are good for promotional would be great for the Pioneer trailer exactly that's what this these fundraisers that we're going to be doing is going to raise money for to not only build it but also to decorate it jazz it up bling it out bling it out that's the word bling it out uh, Joseph's asking when is the auction auction's going to be in May right yeah, it's gonna. I think it's gonna open uh, the May the ninth week, just uh, after Ricky's birthday. It'll open up, bird, because the birds will all be in. We'll have their photographs done. Everything will be up and going, and you will be buying them on the Feathers Elite Pigeon auction site. All bids will be in Canadian dollars. All bids will go up in twenty-five dollar increments. Opening bids will be two hundred dollars, and we ask, and and this is. You know, if you're going to be a donator of the bird, and, and we've asked the people, and if they're tuned in like Troy is, put your best foot forward. Give your best. It's the best way to do it. Trust me. Don't right. just randomly pick. Strategically, or strategically. See, that's my RDHD, whatever you call it. 
take your time and pick something special. Yeah. And you're gonna get the best luck. I'm I'm telling you. And you yes, you the breeder, you can buy your bird back. There's no problem. Mandy says people could donate money to the size of advertising they want on the trailer or the truck. Yeah, absolutely. Owen's back. Hello, Owen. Guido's in the house. Guido, we will give you we will give you a, a look at the blue devils. Uh, in a second, once we're done here, if you want to hang on the line a minute. Oh, and then the big surprise of the day. We lost people. People are not excited to stay to the end to watch. There's only 13 people on. Oh, and eight on YouTube. We had like 40 at one point. <laughs> you know when it all went to shit, Leanne? Well, it's what you Too much, you too much rambling. Beverage. I went and got my, my soda. Yeah. There they are, Guido. There's your blue devils. Wait a minute, I'm going to, I'm going to, oh, damn it. I just hit the wrong button. Just a second, guys. There we go. See, they got some new friends with them. Oh, yeah. They're going for a tube ride later on. <laughs> Jet skis. So, I don't know. All right, let's, uh, let's go on and see the surprise, but I'm, I'm going to have. Makes a good drink. Jason is asking Ryan, "How is vodka's body feeling?" Who's asked that question? Jason. Very good. Uh, they're a little bit bigger birds. Bird. Sorry, I'm vibrating a bit, or my hands shake sometimes. Well, I'm in a odd position. Birds feel good. Uh, I will say, I I looked at your site. These ones have really good eyes too. So you're breeding. He likes. I think Jason likes eye sign. I didn't know you were on. If you were, I would have held them a little longer. They're a little larger pigeon, but very, very nice. So that's good. Uh, they look great. They're all going to have a nice drink of water here now in a minute to get them to wash that down. I can oh, tell they're... Uh, just uh, hold the camera there for one second, Ryan. I just wanted to mention, speaking of eye sign, for those of you who graduate and make it into just before graduation, which is training, when we begin training, right, Ryan? Is it training that yeah. we're doing the graduation uh, photos? Yeah, we're going to start. So once we get all the participants in, we're going to start from red to yellow, to blue to green. We're going to start doing their professional photos and the Einstein photos and the videos of each bird. So you will, you guys will get the opportunity if you guys make it that long in the game to get your professional photo done with the Einstein and I video. Those will all be posted up on our website, featherslypigeonauctions.com, where I have the 2021 roaster where you can go and look at all of the photos of the participants now, the raw photos, the natural photos when they first came in. So that's something to look forward to. Mikey is in the house and says hello, everyone. Say hello to Mikey, every, everybody. Commenting. Way to go. John says, uh, saw Jason's bird on camera. Nice looking bird. How did you name it vodka? Well, John. <laughs> Jason did. Jason named it vodka. You know, one thing I like about Jason, me and him, we, we, we'll probably be like best friends forever. <laughs> you know, the only, you know, he's your best friend. So there's something you got to pick apart about him you don't like. Well, he likes vodka. You know, he didn't name a bird Ice. That was okay, but he went with Pepsi, and I like Diet Pepsi, so that's why we're probably best friends. Ah, oh, Guido's at yet. the airport picking up a basket of young Codwell Van Reets from a friend in BC to fly from British Imports. Oh, Guido, while you are on the line, Ryan's had two auction announcements today. I have a third. And you just reminded me, Guido, when you when I saw your name pop up, Mr. Alistair Hogg will be back for season number four. Alistair Hogg was our very first auction we did back in season one. Very first online auction we did was with Alistair Hogg from the UK. And he is back for season four. South African million dollar pigeon race winner. He sent me his results for the past couple of years. He's been doing fantastic. And we're very happy to have Alistair back for season four. And, you know, I didn't want to let this out, but uh, I have a good hunch that Mr. Alistair Hogg 
will probably be participating in Pioneer Old Bird. Yes, we are, no we are still talking with him, spoke with him last week, and uh, we are in negotiations, I guess, so to speak, or just talks about what, how much he wants to participate in this coming season. So we're, we're very excited to have him back. He's a great guy to work with, great pigeons. So Mr. Alistair Hogg back for season four. Serge Van, uh, can you say the name? Van, Al Van. Van Alstecker, he will be for season number four. And Leah, give the last one. Bart Verbeek. Season four. This is what we're talking about. We build them by the seasons. What do we ask? We ask everyone that participates in a Feathers Elite or a FIFA auction, please put your best foot forward. In life, there's only one thing that's worth anything. You know what that is, Leah? What? Your name. I'm Ryan Richard Thomas Zonigan. That's my name. I have to put my best foot forward every day. Give you my best. And at the end, you'll say, hey, that guy, look, he gave his best. He gave a good product. Leah, your name is the same. Alistair Hogg, season one. We had done zero, zero, zero auctions. He sent the foundation breeder out. Guido Madrusen purchased that pigeon, and it's a super breeder for him. Isn't that great, Leah? Yeah, that's fantastic. That's why we're really excited to have him back for season number four. Okay, everybody's been waiting so long. Ta-da! It's a cardboard box. Wait, wait, hold on. So what does it say? It. I'm not, I'm not going to open it. We're going to do the unboxing, uh, what, tomorrow, I think? To I really think we're going to the energy up. I think we are going to do the unboxing, if not tomorrow, one day this week. We'll put up a notification when we are going to do the unboxing. I just want to make sure, well, I guess it'll be a surprise to us. I mean, shouldn't we know what's in there before we do the unboxing? Or no, I guess that's the unboxing. I don't know. We're, we're, going, we're going to... Uh, <laughs> he's uh, so excited. Um We'll think about how the big reveal is going to be. But there you go, folks. It's taken a while. You've heard us blabbering about it for the last two months. We had difficulty getting it uh, imported, shortage, COVID, blah, blah, blah. It is here now. And Hold we on. want to thank Benzing so much for putting their faith in us and for sponsoring this race. Go ahead, Ryan. Oh my God, God, I can't believe it. They actually sent them a clock. I thought it was smoke and mirrors. I was hearing through the grapevine that Benzing was never going to sponsor this, this pioneer thing. I don't know what's going on. Congratulations, guys. Finally, kudos to you. You've done it once. Oh, God, I guess maybe I should stay in the race. No, honestly, I want, I want to thank Benzing for putting their trust in us. This was not an easy thing to get for us. There was a lot of people out there that tried to stop this from happening. And I just want to personally thank Tom Zimmerman and Benzing for not listening to the haters and the noisemakers and um, letting us work with you and collaborate and hopefully revolutionize the way Canadians race their pigeons. That's our goal. That's great. It's a small box. We're on the internet. The world is our oyster. The sky has no limits. I don't care where you are in the world. This is the clock to go to. Try it out. You're going to love it. I promise you. There are benzene dealers worldwide. And if you can't find one, you message us, PM us on the Pioneer page, the Feathers Elite page. Let us know. And if not, get a hold of Thomas Zimmerman. He will help you out. He will guide you to the direction of where you want to go. If you're in America, let us know. We'll see, tell you where to go. No problem. No problem. You're in Canada. Hey, we're here to help you. You're in Belgium. We'll let you know. We'll help you out. We're here to grow the sport. Thank and you, you. And you. Yeah. Thank you, Benzing. And you guys are going to follow along and you're going to watch us use these clocks in several different settings, uh, in a club setting, a breeder setting, a one loft setting. And you guys are going to follow along with us and watch us learn how to use it and show you the power of Benzing. Hold on. You know how, how good Benzing was? You know how good this clock is? This is a good clock, expensive clock. Works great. We're going to put that super clock 
I hate to say this. I'm working on that big pile of shit. <laughs> the Twisted not, Sister's going to be run in Benzing. <laughs> the, the Twisted Sister will be run by Benzing. And yes, folks, you are going to watch us teach LMR how to use it. And if LMR can use this clocking system, trust me when I tell you anybody can. There he is. What happened last year? Look at him go. Look at look. The spongy chihuahuas. Sydney and Scout. Watch this. You're going to see him for him. Go up the ladder. Go up the ladder. He's got everything on a clipboard, eh? Look at him go. Now, There's the listen, twisted sister. Listen, form. listen, listen to me. Yeah. If, if, if you guys think that, you know, you're out of the loop and you guys wouldn't be able to work it, look at the twisted sister. LMR has not seen change since 1972. Look at this. And I want to tell you what makes a real Twisted Sister, okay? It's it's this. It's a curved landing board that is a darkening board. And there you it's go. It's the bird's out. Hold on. It's a, it's a net that we don't know why it's there that has holes in it. And you want to know what? It's always nice sometimes to take drinks up to the loft. <laughs> the sky has uh, no limits. Hey, speaking of the benzing, we're going to have a giveaway, which maybe we'll talk about on the evening feeding show. Our first yeah, benzing, giveaway, giveaway. benzing giveaway. Leah, I'm going to say it. We're giving a clock away. Actually, Leah, I got a feeling we're not going to give one away. We may give four or five away. Support. Your, your chance to win a benzing clock coming up. Stay tuned, folks. Look at the felines. Look at the felines. Felines. They're everywhere. Chihuahuas. Little chihuahuas. We have our LMR. first referral from Guido Madruzin. Says Serge Van Eslacker had great birds. I bred two CU national champions out of one of his cocks. There you go. Our first referral. Thank you very much, Guido. Looking forward to seeing Serge's birds. Season number four. Ryan doesn't have his steady cam. Uh, Oh look, it's a feline. It's a feline. Look, look, it's like, it's like it's a look, look, look. It's not. People say I had people say to me it's a cat. No, it's not a cat. It's a freaking feline. Look Back to the go birds. Go in the water and drink. Back to the birds. Uh, Mandy says Mikey needs a clock. Well, he's going to have an opportunity to win yeah. one. We're gonna have one to win one. You know, and this is what's great about the family. We're all getting together. And, and, and you know what? It's great. We got people giving us uh, feedback. Another big feedback, Leah. I was at Bill Wiemas yesterday, and he bought a direct uh, a direct daughter from F-16 from the Van Ogles. Mm -hmm. And he lent it to Fernando Dietry, who had bought a Frank Elkman Superbird. They paired them together. No even want to open with one of the babies. I love getting the feedback. The feedback is key. Owen's, uh, uh, absolutely, absolutely. Owen wants to know how can we win. You have to stay tuned, Owen. That's the best box I've seen all year. Absolutely. Awesome. Okay, we're going to wrap this up. We will be back this evening for our first trapping trial of the week for the Glen Thornley challenge cup hurdles the glenn thornley hurdles coming to you seven o'clock tonight on youtube and facebook pioneer racing pigeon club on facebook and feathers elite pigeon auctions on youtube thanks guys ryan wrap it up thanks guys we'll see you tonight that was kind of a choppy ending sorry it'll, it'll be okay we're, we're we're working on our endings we're trying to get a theme song up uh Owen, tune in tonight. Thanks for flying with us, guys. Remember, time to bring out your pigeons. Win in style. Beauty and grace right here.